Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Cosmo and this is Will We Make It. I'm going to be discussing on how to invest in cryptocurrency responsibly. But first, there's a few things we need to go over. In this episode, we're going to touch on briefly some crypto news as well as some stock news. See what's going on in the market and when will we recover. And also, we'll be talking over my three rules for investing in cryptocurrency. And we'll be going over how I can take the price of this monster and work it into my crypto investments and see what happens in the end. And then finally, we'll go over my portfolio and see where we're at for this week. So let's get right to it. Now, in my opinion, you could describe 90% of the crypto investors as people who get involved in the mean token, follow the hype, ride the wave up to the top, only to realize that the stock is bottomed out, the hype dies down, and they end up losing their money. And nine times out of ten, they end up either just selling at a loss or just forgetting about it altogether and letting it sit. So, however, in my opinion, I believe cryptocurrency is the future. And I believe that it is a great way to fight inflation. I think that their utility is there. I think that, for the most part, it's going to continue to keep getting bigger. So... Let's go over some of my rules for investing in cryptocurrency. My three rules, as a matter of fact. First, only invest money that you can afford to lose. And that is very important. Do not invest, don't FOMO all your money into one meme token expecting to become a millionaire. Because nine times out of ten, you will not become a millionaire. Always look at the utility of the coin. Does this coin have a purpose? Does What are the projects involved in this coin? Does it look like it can grow? Um, look at their market cap. Look at where they rank among the other cryptocurrencies in the universe. Because there are millions of cryptocurrencies, coins out there. And 90% of them are going to lose or not make any money. So... Use a tool like CoinMarketCap to help, help you research certain coins. See what kind of projects they have. Check their white paper. Look at their website. See what kind of projects they're into. And maybe something that interests you. Are they involved in a metaverse? Are they looking to expand? You know what? Just basically look at the history behind the token and where it is going forward. Never let your emotions dictate your buys and sells involving cryptocurrency or even stocks for that matter. And this is important because if you see something falling and crashing and you get you think, oh my God, I got I got to sell, I'm losing money. No, do not let your emotions dictate your investments. So that's very important. So with that, let's get into some news real fast, and then we'll go over and talk about my portfolios. Now, I've heard, I'm sure some of you have heard about this. Shiba Inu got listed on Robinhood recently, and boy, where was the hype? You know, everybody expected Shiba Inu to go through the roof uh, with Robinhood listing. To be honest with you, I believe they missed their opportunity here. Um, I don't see, to be honest, I don't, I see the hype of Shiba Inu is pretty much gone. I mean, it's, it's, it continues to in, uh, expand in certain project areas, but as far as everybody expecting Shiba Inu to even, uh, lose a zero, I think is probably not going to happen in my personal opinion. Now things could change down the road. If you look at Shiba Inu's current price, I mean, you can take a look at the last six, let's take a look at the last six months. It has just constantly been going down. And these, from their, it has not even recovered from even remotely in the last four or five months what it did previously. So with that being said, being hyped up on Robinhood, I think is long as a day late and a dollar short. And in Metaverse news, Coca-Cola launches a virtual drink inside the Metaverse, and you can try it today. So, Coca-Cola get involved in the Metaverse. The world's most popular soft drink has made it to the Metaverse. 
Coca-Cola on Monday announced that it is launching a gaming-inspired version of its Fizzy Pop virtual virtually before it hits shelves in the real world. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Bites will bring the flavor of pixels to life, according to the U.S. drinks giant. Um, I don't know how well this is going to go over, but it just shows that major companies are getting involved in the metaverse, and that's just going to make make the metaverse, you know, just grow and things getting bigger as as we move forward. And without we have to talk about ApeCoin. Um ApeCoin is continuing to blow up the uh large NFT uh Coinbase as and this is largely based on its new metaverse that is getting ready to launch. Um they say the launch date for April 30th and just look at the look at the spike it is continuing to increase where every other coin is where other every other coin is going down ape coin just seems to be the only one really launching ahead it is even past decentraland sandbox axis infinity these coins here already have metaverses these coins already have games i mean i think it's just it's crazy to me how you have a coins these these projects that are already established and have been running for all, over a year now close to a year and you have a, a, a project like apecoin and even shiba inu who have just proposals of metaverses and they have already blown past these established um companies already these established coins so it is just amazing to me how the hype and and can just control the profit of a coin. Um, you know, it, it is risky, but it's just amazing to me how it can surpass, you know, these established coins. And they don't even have really anything to show for it except for web pages and press releases. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of this. Um, you know, as I said before, I think Shiba Inu is, is I think the hype is over with it, you know, and... I, I can't really say much more than that. That's all I'm going to say. And I still hold a position in Shiba Inu. And I'm just going to ride until, you know, the ship sinks. So we'll just see how it goes. And again, that goes back to never invest money that you can't afford to lose. So if I lose the money in Shiba Inu, it's no real big loss. Because I've already expected to lose that money. And in some Ethereum 2.0 news, um, this is, uh, you know, they have getting ready. Everybody's excited about Ethereum 2.0, uh, proof of stake. Um, here's an article basically estimating that the release date may not happen until later in two, uh, 2023. Um, it says here with two phases still to go, the full release is not estimated to happen until later in 2023. I know everybody has been waiting for this. And hopefully, you know, with the, I hope that the hype just doesn't die out um, with, this, with these continual delays. I mean, I know they've been testing it and they want to make sure they get it right. And, and that's important. Uh, but the longer they delay and delay and delay... You know, the the chances of losing, you know, investors increases, in my opinion. So that's the latest on that. So they're calling for not until 2023. So we'll still have to wait and see with that. And for you and for those of you skeptical about cryptocurrencies, here's an article. The use of cryptocurrencies in the United States is forecast to rise by 70 percent in 2022. 3.6 million people are for, forecasted to pay for goods with cryptocurrencies this year. Germany has chosen as the most crypto-friendly country in quarter one of 2022. So now you can see why I'm so bullish on cryptocurrency and I'm using it as a major factor in my portfolio. And with that being said, I don't have a lot of money and I'm sure you probably don't have a lot of money too with inflation and everything like that. But if you take... The price of a monster, which are two for five dollars currently right now at your local store. Usually that's what the promotion is. I'm going to be taking the price of these monsters, my average price that I buy every day, which comes out to thirty-five dollars a week. Five times seven is thirty-five, and I'm going to be putting it into my crypto portfolio, and we're going to see what happens. So follow me along. 
hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's go ahead and put in my $35. All right, here we are. This is my Coinbase account. As you can see, I have 191 invested. This is my current assets that I own. Um, I own $22.10 of Doge. And with Elon Musk buying Twitter, I'm going to buy into the hype. So I'm going to take my $35 for the week, and I'm going to put it into my Dogecoin. So I simply click Dogecoin. I'm going to hit buy. It's going to be a one-time purchase. Do it from my bank. We're going to put in $35. Preview buy. And it's $1.99 Coinbase free. You can ask you if you want to do this weekly, but we're not going to do that. But you do have that option. I'm going to go ahead and buy. There we go. I have purchased 236.47 Doge. So that's my $35 for this week. So now we can go and check my portfolio. I will go ahead and pull up the chart. All right, here we have for the previous week. I'm going to go ahead and put the inputs for this week. Here we are for April 25th. 5.30 for my stash. 2.22 in my Robinhood. 2.82 in my Gemini. 1.16 in my Weibo account. And with the extra $35 I put in my Coinbase, I'm at $224. So from the previous week, I am up $96. For the previous week, I'm 17% from my $8,000 goal. So there you have it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe down below. Help the video get out to other people who can invest like the rest of us. People who don't have a lot of money. People who don't drop $10,000 or make $100,000 a year. People like us that buy $5 monsters. And we can use that money to help secure our financial future. And I'll see you next time. Peace.